This is an overview of Race Joy, a mobile app that offers a new way to experience race day for running, walking, and cycling events. By tapping into the power of your smartphone and other technologies, RaceJoy is able to provide advanced continuous tracking and real-time interaction between participants and their supporting friends and family. Let's explore some of RaceJoy's features. RaceJoy offers advanced runner and cyclist tracking with its real-time GPS tracking feature, what we like to call phone track. RaceJoy uses the participant's phone as a tracking device and spectators can track them live on an interactive course map as shown here. Up to 50 participants can be tracked continuously as they move along the course. Another key feature is RaceJoy's GPS-based progress alerts, providing continual performance updates, including pace and estimated finish time. Typically, these are issued at every mile for running or walking events and every five to 10 miles for cycling and longer distance events. The participant receives these in audio format and are able to track themselves as well as others on the course. You are at mile eight, total time one hour, 10 minutes and 25 seconds, split pace nine minutes, 40 seconds, average pace eight minutes, 48 seconds, estimated finish time one hour, 54 minutes and 25 seconds. Spectators are able to know how the person they are tracking is doing and when to expect them at the finish line. Supporting friends and family receive a cowbell alert sound along with an in-app notification like this. A very popular feature in RaceJoy is Send a Cheer, where family and friends can send fun pre-recorded audio cheer clips to participants the days leading up to the race and on race day. People can also send custom text to cheer messages that are delivered instantly in audio format. This is a great way for people to encourage participants and show their support. Some races will provide results through RaceJoy. When this is available, you will see results appear on the menu bar on the races page like this. And once RaceJoy receives the event's results data from the timer, you will be able to see your personal finisher stats and those in your division, as well as the overall finishers. For those spectators who are at the race site, RaceJoy also offers near me alerts as a participant draws near, which is helpful for those wishing to get that perfect photo and for relay team members getting ready for the handoff. Meetup is another on-site feature in which spectators or participants can see where they are in relation to a track participant, an especially useful feature for larger venues. Now let's go over some key instructions for setting up your phone so you can get the most out of RaceJoy. First, you will need to download the app by going to the App Store and searching for RaceJoy. You can download RaceJoy to Apple or Android phones, iPads, or tablets. Next, find your race and click to access. You will then be presented with this screen. It is very important that you choose the correct option here. If you are doing the race, click I want to be tracked and follow the prompts. This is where you set up your phone to be tracked on race day. You can track others as well by adding them to your participant list after you get things set up. If you are not doing the race and want to track a family member or friend that is doing the race, click I want to track someone. Make sure you click this button and use your information and not the person you wish to track. Otherwise, we will track your phone instead of theirs. When creating a profile, please provide a valid email address that you frequently access as this is where any important instructions will be sent for this event. Participants can test their tracking during the setup as shown here. When doing this, if you do not see yourself on the map, you may have a setting off and should have received a prompt from RaceJoy. Your setup in RaceJoy is not complete until you turn on your tracking on race day. Make sure to click the Start My Race button as you cross the start line to begin your personal race time. This is what your progress alerts will be based on. Participants can track other participants and spectators can add additional people to their list by clicking the participant icon on the upper part of the screen 
or on the My Participants button on the menu bar. Then search for the participant by name and add them to your list. You will then automatically receive alerts as they pass the milestones on the course. Now let's go over the symbols. If you see a megaphone is next to the person's name versus a cell phone, this means that they can only receive cheers and raise joy, and they did not set up their phone to be tracked. If they have a phone next to their name, this means they are set up to be tracked and can receive cheers. When RaceJoy receives a signal from the person's phone, the symbols next to their name will turn green. If the GPS button is red and says no, this means their phone is not transmitting to RaceJoy. To track people live on race day, click Phone Track. Or you can click the Feet icon on Apple devices and the Track button on Android devices. You will see the person's blue dot and name as he or she travels the course. If a participant encounters a poor cell zone, Tracky may disengage and will pick back up once the phone reaches a working cell area. Buzz is your place to go to for quick access to news and race day activities. This is where you can read any important race joy instructions and news from the race director. To review progress alerts for yourself and for those that you're tracking. And to replay any cheers sent and received. If at any time you wish to change your profile, such as if you're a spectator and decided to do the race, or you decided to do a different course, you can change your profile by clicking on your name or guest at the top part of the main race screen and follow the prompts. RaceJoy does a lot to optimize your phone's battery life, and on average, RaceJoy can run on a single fully charged battery for 8 to 18 hours of tracking. This can vary depending on the age and model of the phone, the number of apps you have open, and the signal strength from your cell provider at the race site. We recommend those that expect to be out on the course for a longer duration to use a portable battery charger. For additional tips, see our Battery Preservation Tips section on RaceJoy's website. Since RaceJoy is bringing together many technologies and people, there is no guarantee that RaceJoy will function for a given user. Please make sure to follow the prompts during your setup and start your tracking on race day to ensure proper functioning of RaceJoy. We hope you found this overview helpful. If you have any questions, visit the FAQ section in the app or on RaceJoy's website, or send an email to support at racejoy.com. Have a great race and go get them!